It is the explosive interview everybody is talking about. Today on CBS This Morning, R. Kelly denied the sexual abuse allegations against him. And the family of one of his accusers is already speaking out about it. The R&B singer is accused of sexually abusing several teen girls. He sat down with Gail King for the first interview since he was charged. Here's what he had to say. Is this camera on me? Yes, it's on. That's stupid. Use your common sense. Don't forget the blogs. Forget how you feel about me. Hate me if you want to. Love me if you want. But just use your common sense. How stupid would it be for me to, with my crazy past and what I've been through, oh, right now I just think I need to be a monster and hold girls against their will, chain them up in my basement. In the interview, R. Kelly, who was charged with 10 counts of aggravated sexual abuse last month, vehemently denied all charges against him. He blamed the spread and the size of the accusations on social media, saying they're nothing but rumors. He reminded Gail King he was acquitted for child pornography charges in 2008. He also addressed comments other people in the music industry have made about him. You know, I have nothing against none of these artists, but I think it's, um, it's, not, it's not professional for them to do that. Uh, because something like this can happen to any artist, anybody famous. Anybody famous can get accused of so many different things. You know? I would argue, I would, I would disagree that this could happen to anybody famous, R. Kelly. <laughs> Kelly came under renewed scrutiny after a documentary called Surviving R. Kelly aired in January. Several women describe being sexually, emotionally, and physically abused by him. And the family of Jocelyn Savage is speaking out about the singer. Savage lives with R. Kelly and has said in public interviews that she's not part of any cult. But in today's interview, her father even went as far as saying that her behavior is a symptom of Stockholm syndrome. Very heartbreaking to know the truth and to know what he's saying on live TV. Um, it confirms even more of what we've known for over two years. We are seeing in real time what's actually happening uh, in this case. We have the facts, we've turned them over, and we will continue to turn them over to law enforcement, and we continue to try to make contact with Joyce and Savage, because this is about demanding justice. You'll hear from the two women on CBS this morning as well. The second part of the R. Kelly interview airs tomorrow morning. You can watch it right here on 10 News starting at 7 a.m.